Among all the planets in the solar system, Jupiter stands out for being the most colossal in both size and mass. It is, without a doubt, an impressive world. However, given its enormous accumulation of gas, astronomers have identified something unexpected within this gas giant, a genuine rocky planet inside it. Surprisingly, even though Jupiter is primarily composed of gas, there is a hidden core beneath all that matter. Of course, it is highly unlikely that we will ever be able to reach it, but what would this kind of planet inside Jupiter be like? In today's content, we will journey through the atmosphere of the largest planet in the solar system to better understand how its core works. Jupiter is the ultimate representation of grandeur in our solar system. Its extraordinary diameter, approximately 139,822 kilometers, is so vast that it could fit more than 1,300 Earths within its volume. Under the watchful eye of NASA's Juno probe, which is currently studying the planet, we receive stunning images of its turbulent clouds, captured from about 15,000 kilometers above the top of its atmosphere. This proximity provides us with details so precise that its storms and eddies look like true works of art in constant motion. All of this stands out over bands of orange, white, and brown. This perspective puts us closer to the gas giant than any geostationary satellite from Earth could, revealing an incredibly daunting world. Jupiter's atmosphere is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, extending around 70,000 kilometers before we reach the core. That distance alone would be an unimaginable feat for today's technology to overcome, and, in practice, it's very likely we'll never surpass this challenge. And you'll soon understand why. Within this massive expanse of gas, colossal storms form, such as the Great Red Spot, which has existed for centuries. This phenomenon underscores just how dynamic Jupiter is. Besides being the largest planet in the solar system, it impresses with features that, even from a distance, remind us of how much remains to be explored there. The path to Jupiter's core is a journey that challenges not only our imagination, but also the laws of physics as we know them. On the visible surface, we see turbulent clouds, but as we go deeper, atmospheric pressure gradually increases, compressing the gases. Hydrogen, which we normally know as a gas, begins to behave oddly due to ever-increasing pressure and temperature. What used to be a rarefied air transforms into a high-pressure environment, where the atmosphere and heat force hydrogen to become liquid, creating a vast layer that lines the planet's interior. Continuing this descent, conditions become even more extreme. At a certain point, the pressure reaches about 3 million times the atmospheric pressure at sea level on Earth. In such an intense environment, liquid hydrogen undergoes another spectacular transformation and transitions into the metallic hydrogen state in which it acquires properties of a metal such as the ability to conduct electricity. This substantial layer of metallic hydrogen is one of the reasons for Jupiter's strong magnetic field, one of the most powerful in the entire solar system. Even under crushing pressures and temperatures that can exceed thousands of degrees, Jupiter's core remains shrouded in mystery. There, more than 70,000 kilometers down, the weight of the layers of gas, liquid, and metal creates conditions so extreme that no human-made equipment could withstand it. For instance, while the pressure in the Mariana Trench, the deepest point of Earth's oceans, is about 1,000 atmospheres, on Jupiter, it exceeds millions of times Earth's sea level pressure. So what would that gigantic planetary core be like? Scientists believe it is composed of heavy elements, possibly in a solid or semi-solid state, and that its mass could be up to 25 times that of Earth. It is an environment born from billions of years of evolution and gravitational compression, where both pressure and temperatures are simply unimaginable to us. According to the most widely accepted theories, this compact rocky core formed billions of years ago, back in the early days of the solar system. It would have originated from collisions between small bodies made of ice, rock, and metals. As it gained mass, it began to attract lighter gases, such as hydrogen and helium, giving rise to the gas giant we see today. Nevertheless, uncertainties remain about its exact size, composition, and even existence, since the most advanced simulations suggest it could range from 18 to 25 times Earth's mass, making up about 5% of the planet's total mass. 
It is believed that this core is composed of concentric layers of different materials. There might be a rocky base, covered by ices of water, ammonia, and even methane, upon which lie the upper layers of compressed hydrogen and helium. At the center of the core, there may be a metallic sphere of iron and nickel, similar to Earth's inner core. These layers face a pressure that can reach 3 million times Earth's atmospheric pressure, with temperatures near 20,000 degrees Celsius. Some researchers also suggest that the core may be undergoing erosion. This hypothesis posits that under such extreme pressures, hydrogen and helium could dissolve parts of the core, blending those elements into the rest of the planet. However, data from space probes show that the core indeed affects Jupiter's internal structure, indicating that most gas giants likely form in a similar way, starting with a primordial rocky core that provides the gravitational pull to gather such massive quantities of gas. It is a world where all that can be perceived is the intense energy of heat and the devastating force of gravity, shaping this unique and inhospitable setting far beyond the visual limits we have on planets like Earth. It is astonishing to think that such an environment lies hidden beneath the clouds of a colossal gas giant. In a way, Jupiter's core is terrifying, yet it also sparks our curiosity and deserves further study. If you enjoyed this content, remember to leave your like, as it is very important for the channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, feel free to click on subscribe below. See you next time.